Hello everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. This one going to show you how to mount your own logo or place your own logo onto a box or package like I've done it with this example. How did I do it? Nice and simple. Let's start. We've got some pizza boxes here. We're loaded in. The next step, grab your logo. We're going to use a Domino's logo for this one. And we're going to place that somewhere up here at the top. So I'm just going to move that up here. Okay, good. The next step, once that's placed, is I'm going to go ahead making sure you're selected on that. Uh, click out. I'm going to grab this rectangular marquee tool. I'll zoom in a little bit and I'm just going to drag a selection around the logo part that I want. That's okay if you have the white in there. We're going to get rid of it later. Now, once I've made that selection, go to edit and go to copy merge. So we're going to take all of that. Now, go back to your layers panel, hit the plus button and create a new layer like I just did there. Now, we're going to remove that logo by turning that middle layer off and we're also going to go to select, deselect, so there's nothing selected except for the layer. All right, the next step, go to filter and we're going to go to vanishing point. It's right there. Click on that. Once you do that, you're going to see here you've got this little grid tool. We're going to go ahead and draw a grid. Left click on the four points of your package or your box or your pizza box or whatever you're working on. Once you do that, you're going to get a grid that looks something like that. Now, don't click on the OK or the cancel. Now we want to go Command V if you're on a Mac, Control V if you're on a PC, and that's going to place that logo. All right, now drag that logo, and once you get close to the vanishing point, watch what happens. Oh boy, there we go. We're mounting it, and we're mounting it in the correct perspective. Let go, click on OK, and watch what happens. Presto, we've gone ahead and placed the logo correctly onto the package. Now, the last step, <clears throat> excuse me, is you want to go to your layers, making sure you're on the top layer, and switch that to darken or multiply, depending if you want it darker or not. But let's go with darken. And presto, it is mounted. And if it looks a little too bright when you zoom in, just go ahead and reduce the opacity down to like 85 to make it look a little bit more faded. And that's how you do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up.